Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I've got my crock pot full of gravy smothered pork chops. The only hard part about this is waiting the four to six hours for it to get finished. Okay, if you're ready for this one, check it out. First thing we're going to do is prepare our pork chops. Now, I'm just using a cast iron skillet. You can use just a regular large skillet or a large pot. I've just got some oil, about one tablespoon, and then one tablespoon of some butter. We're gonna put this on a medium-high heat and let it get really hot. I've got center-cut pork chops here, and there is like a bone, which I'll show you right there. So these are pretty thick, and I've got six of them here. So what we're gonna do is, while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and season the front side of the pork chops here. And then when they go in the pan, we're gonna flip them so that the seasoning side is down, and then we're going to do the back side. We're not gonna do any flour on these pork chops. So I've got some salt here. Got some pepper. Oh, give it some pepper, guys. Don't be afraid of the pepper. This is gonna lock in all that flavor right here. So what we're gonna do is I've got some garlic powder. Just put a little bit. This will help with the flavor of the gravy too. Okay, let's take our pork chops. Now I've got six on the plate here and I'm gonna put as many as I can fit in there. Now, once you set them in here, don't move them. I'm probably gonna do two at a time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and season the front side with some salt. And some pepper. and our garlic. We're gonna cook these for about three to four minutes, lock in some delicious flavor. Just want a nice color on the back side of these. Oh yeah, that'll look good. Now, if you don't want to do this step, you can just put your pork chops into the crock pot just the way they are right out of the package. But you know what? You're going to lose some delicious flavor. It's up to you. Once these are done on both sides, we're going to go ahead and place these in our crock pot. What we're going to do is lightly spray the crock pot with some cooking spray. start with a large bowl to make our gravy to pour over the pork chops. Now I'm going to be using two packages of onion soup mix. To that we're going to add 14 ounces of chicken broth, one can of cream of chicken soup, and one jar of gravy mix. Now this is 12 ounces. This is a beef flavor, so whatever flavor you want to put in there, it's going to be make it it's going to make it really rich. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of water in here, give it a shake so we can get the rest of that gravy out. Oh yeah. 
go ahead and whisk this together. Oh, it smells delicious. Okay, once we get this all nice and combined, let's pour it over our pork chops. So the way I've layered my pork chops on top of each other, that will really help get that gravy in between all of those pork chops. All right, we're gonna place our lid on. We're gonna cook this on low for about four to six hours until our pork chops are nice and tender. Now the four to six hours is depending on how thick your pork chops are. Okay, we're gonna be back and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna thicken the gravy. Okay, our pork chops are done. Look at that. So delicious. It smells amazing. What I'm doing right now is just kind of moving these on top of each other because we're going to thicken the gravy that's in here. So I just have a cup here. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of some cornstarch. I'm just gonna add some water to it. We're gonna mix this up a little bit. Make a little slurry. And then we're gonna pour it in to that side right here. And we're gonna mix this in. And give it a few minutes to thicken up and then I'm going to plate this up with our homemade mashed potatoes and my broccoli. are so tender very delicious and that gravy we didn't have to do anything but just thicken it up with a little cornstarch oh my gosh it's so delicious okay guys Woo, give me a thumbs up on this one and make sure you share this video comment down below your favorite pork chop crock pot recipe make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll always know when videos like this one here are posted all right I'm going to have to go, so I will see you on my next episode.